thing about locally sourced produce is that, you know, we, we live in a world now where we are a throwaway society. Um, if we can grow stuff locally and provide to the local businesses and communities, then we feel that we're helping with our food miles. Uh, so whether we like it or not, the way we grow food at, and the supply chain has the biggest contribution to our environmental impact. We've been on farm for the last uh, 10 years, but we've been an independent dairy for the last five. So that means we do our own on-farm processing and sell our produce direct to the customers. The thing about how we grow our food and how we sell our food is that uh, it's seasonal, it's grassroots, which sometimes means it's not always convenient. So at Cupid's we make our own wine, beer, cheese, we grow our own Black Angus cattle for the um, restaurant menu and we have quite a substantial kitchen garden. The weather plays a massive part in actually sourcing seafood. Yeah, one of the groups, um, one, of, one of our customers is Australia's Oyster Coast. Uh, they distribute out to all the restaurants and seafood shops. And um, You hear stories of, you know, produce travelling from one end of, the, of Australia to the other. It's also putting the customer first. It's making sure they're getting the most fresh seasonal produce available, which is really tricky in a regional area. We don't have that city market just down the road. Yeah, we can't believe the local support actually. It's probably the one thing that surprised us the most, most from the beginning was the local support and uh, how happy they were to see uh, local produce. And they've jumped on the, on the our bandwagon pretty early on, which is awesome. So for us, sustainability is being able to use everything we make on farm, reducing our costs, so buying in less feed, um, and really creating um, a sustainable, long-term way to stay in the dairy industry. We grow over, over 40 different vegetable and herbs. At the moment, we're obviously producing broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. They're kind of the, the stars of, of the winter period. But we also specialise in a lot of leafy greens. So we do baby leaf, rockets, mizunas, salad mixes, red Russian kale. Uh, we do a lot of Asian stir-fry greens, yeah, bok choys and joy choys. Now we're fortunate we've got the polytunnels, so what they provide for us is we're able to grow further later or earlier in the season. So we can grow beans in, in the beginning of winter. We can grow tomatoes and cucumbers. Okay, there's definitely some, been some big changes we've had to make, um, right from what we use on the paddocks as far as fertiliser, we've, we've had to stop all of that and go back to really looking at the soil quality, which then makes a, a better grass, which then makes a better milk, which then makes a better cheese. So we had to take it right back to square one, and it's been a, a big change. Um, it's not the norm and uh, it's expensive, so to make those changes has taken a long time. We've still got a long way to go, um, but we can see that the outcome is definitely worth the effort. The Miradori on tonight's menu, that's come out of Wollongong Harbour, oysters out of the Shellhaven River. We think just with tonight's menu that it was important to narrow it down as close as possible to Wollongong, Illawarra. So we're providing the red wine. We've got our Pinot Noir and our Shiraz that's been supplied. And we've also got some beautiful uh, garden produce, some Swiss chard, uh, kale, parsley, cabbages, just some nice winter seasonal produce. If they're our oysters, they were harvested this morning. I think it comes back to quality and sustainability is the, the two key points for me, is um, our local area can produce the highest quality food in the world, there's no doubt about it, and a range of food. Um, we're lucky to live in an area that has that uh, available to us. And then if, we're, if we are producing locally um, and eating local food, then it becomes a sustainable industry. And that's where uh, we get to see the benefits of low food miles and uh, the land being used for primary industry in a sustainable way. And I, I guess the locals really having a pride in what they, what they see in their area and what they can uh, consume.